Hey fellow garage golfers, Roland here with Garage Golf, where we provide extraordinary golf info for the extra ordinary golfer. Got a really cool delivery today from our friends at Zero Friction. It's a three-in-one golf bag, and if you watched the PGA Show 2022, you saw that we actually showed this product. Now we get a chance to test it here at Garage Golf. I'm looking forward to bringing that to you. It's a three-in-one product. Excited to show you a little bit more about it. Stay tuned and check it out. All right, thanks again for watching and welcome back. Here at Garage Golf, we provide information on golf products, golf equipment, golf simulators, and pretty much anything golf related. So if you're new to our channel, make sure to subscribe, click the bell notification for more content so you can be notified when new videos come out like the one that you're watching here today. As always, if you have any questions on anything golf related, reach out to me anytime at Roland at mygaragegolf.com and make sure to check out our new and revamped website. We've put a lot of money and effort into that. For you guys at home, it's www.mygaragegolf.com. All of our affiliate links are on there. Everything we've ever tested, all of our YouTube videos, really, really cool. Make sure to check it out. All right, so jumping back into the video, let's go ahead and get this thing unboxed. Again, this is from our friends at Zero Friction. And as you see here, you actually see that it does come with wheels. What's pretty cool about this specific golf bag is that it can go on a cart. You can actually carry the golf bag or you can use it as its own push cart without needing an independent device that the bag will sit on. So really, really cool. I'm gonna unbox it really quickly for you. We'll get it out of the box, show you a little bit more about it. Then we'll actually take it out to the golf course and test it out. There's been some feedback online, people questioning how this will work because as you see in the picture down there, there's actually only two wheels, there's not three. But it's a pretty cool setup. I wanna show you a little bit more about it. So let's get this thing unboxed and show you a little bit more. I opened it upside down, that's all right. And as you see here, you got 14 individual club slots for all of your clubs, so that's cool that it's all separated. And it's actually separated, looks like, here on the top, so it'll allow you to put all your clubs in there individually. Got a little handle here, I'll show you more about that in just a minute. All right, so I'm assuming this is the wheels here in the bag, let's check it out. It's got one wheel here, it's red. Here we have the other wheel. Let's set these down real quickly. Got an umbrella holder if you're gonna use this as a push cart. And lastly, we have some instructions on how to piece this thing together. So it should be pretty quick and easy, but we'll show you how to do that right now. All right, so when we're not using this as a push cart, we're gonna put the wheels aside and you can leave those in the supply bag that they provided to you. So for now, I'm gonna put these aside. I wanna show you a little bit more about the bag itself and then we'll put everything together, show you how it works as an actual push cart as well. All right, so when you're just using this as a golf bag alone, it already comes packed with features. So we have seven full zippered pockets. Again, we have the 14-way divider on top. We have, as you see here, this is actually a stand bag as well as a cart bag. So if you wanna just put it in the cart, you can actually strap this down here. But if you wanna use it on the course and carry it, you can push it and it works as a fully dedicated stand bag as well. If you take it to the range or if you're in the simulator and just wanna have it available, which is nice. Uh, lots of features here as we talked about, so you can use it in multiple ways. Lots of pockets and valuable stuff, really cool. It does come with um, a rain hood as well, as you see here. And on their website, um, this will actually come in three different colors. You see the gray here, it also will come in navy, or you can also get it in black. All right, so just to give you some more information, now this is the Zero Friction Wheel Pro Push Cart Golf Bag. On their website is listed right now at 349 but if you sign up to be a member on their website you can actually get an email that will save you an additional 15 percent off so every little bit helps there as well so let's show you a little bit more about the golf bag now uh, with more features as far as how you can use this thing you will see here it has a handle as well there's a button right here that you'll push to hold up the handle all right so this is how you'll see it'll easily convert into a bag Let's go ahead and add the wheels now. Let's say we want to take this out on the golf course and actually use it as a push bag. We'll show you how to go ahead and attach those wheels and how we will use this moving forward from there. All right, so we have the wheels here and these are push on auto lock wheels. So they should be able to snap in relatively quickly. Let's go ahead and get them snapped in and show you a little bit more here. Just a little bit of force. So we'll actually push the wheel all the way in. On the bottom here, there's gonna be a handle that you can pull out when you want to release the wheels as well. You'll pull them out and they'll slide out there. Let's get the other wheel. I'm gonna push it straight in. You see it 
won't pop out once it goes in there without using that lever. So now we got both wheels on and we have a fully functioning push cart, as you see here. Pretty cool stuff. And so again, the feedback I've gotten or questions I've gotten will be obviously, well, what happens if you drop it or it's gonna, it's gonna wanna lean forward? Well, that's kind of the purpose. With a little bit of weight, once you put the clubs in there, it's going to lean forward and the legs are gonna act as a third wheel or basically to stop it from tipping over. So that's pretty cool in my, in my book to have something that can fully function without needing a whole additional device that you have to purchase. It's really, really cool. And now this can be adjusted as well, again, to different angles based upon how you wanna use it. But I'm thinking the highest setting will work best. So you can push it, easy to go, easy to maneuver. And then when you need to use it, again, I'm gonna add some clubs in here just to see if it's gonna make a big difference. Cause again, you have everything in the bag. I think the weight will push it down a little bit easier. Right now I can still do it of course, but just a little bit of pressure and it stops itself. So really, really cool in my book. I mean, it's a really simple, but innovative concept in my opinion. One more feature, let me show you in just a second. All right, so let's say it's a sunny day and you wanna have some protection from the sun. It also has an umbrella holder. It has a notch here that's gonna sit right into this hole down here and it'll lock into place. There's a smaller side and a bigger side, so you gotta set it up the right way. But once you push it in, you're gonna give it a quarter turn. Just like that. And then now we have a locked in umbrella holder that will actually hold the whole weight of the bag. So pretty cool. Again, that's the whole concept. So let me load it up with some clubs, show you that really quickly. And then let's get out on the golf course and test it out and see how it does on hills and different things that we can test for you at home. All right, so now I've fully retrofitted this bag with a set of my Sticks golf clubs that we've tested out here on the channel before. Only got 13 clubs in this set, but you get the idea. We got driver, three wood hybrid, and then five all the way to our gap wedge, or five all the way to our lob wedge. And then we have our putter. Still see the umbrella holder holding strong here. And again, now when I go to set it down, because of the weight, Definitely a lot easier, it just kind of falls into place. So you're carrying it basically. Again, you push it, set it down, automatically goes into place. And then if you were to pick it up, I put my foot behind it probably just to make sure it doesn't want to fall forward like you just saw. So that's one thing we'll test out. But overall, pretty cool concept. Um, I'm gonna test this out on the golf course. Obviously, I wanna make sure and see how it does with real world application. I do see, you know, especially when you go to pick it up like I did right now, I just want to put a foot behind it. But if you're just pushing it and you have both hands on it, I feel like it's going to be relatively easy to maneuver. But we'll test it out for you, give you our honest feedback, let you know a little bit more about what we think and give you, you know, basically if it's something we would recommend for you to purchase. So I'm not an affiliate with Zero Friction at all. So look forward to testing it out. They did, they did send us a bag to test out. So I will give you my honest review on it let you know if I think it's a winner. I've been intrigued by it since the PGA show. I'm excited to see it. So let's get this out on the golf course. Let's not waste any more time. I'll take it through a few holes. We'll test it out. We'll see how it does on terrain, which is obviously gonna be something that we'll have to check out. I'm looking forward to testing it. So let's go ahead and jump out to the golf course. Okay, so I wanna show you the bag. Obviously right now we have it in cart mode. If you wanted to take it out, now that I have all the clubs in here as well. Uh, so you just wanna set it down. You're here at the range, easily now in range mode. Pretty cool. Um, I tend to, there's a handle here, but I can also pick it up by this. And there's also a strap here that you can extend as well. Uh, but when I carry it around, I kind of just carry it around by this for now. Probably shouldn't, maybe use this one instead. But really, really cool bag. So as you can see, it is a stand bag. It can be a carry bag as well. And then again, put it back on the cart, strap it in. Like I said, it does want to tend to lean a little bit forward because it's a little bit wider than most. But I'm just going to go ahead and strap it in here. Plenty of room. Come around the side here. Strap it in. Has a little padding here for the strap, which is nice. And we're good to go. Easily fits into a cart. Again, we got the wheels in the bag, which we'll be showing you here in just a moment. We'll be putting the wheels on and walking a couple holes for you. Uh, and other than that, really, really cool golf bag to check out. All right, so here we got our Zero Friction Wheel Pro push cart golf bag. I went ahead and pushed it up over here from the actual parking lot. As you see, we got it ready to go. It's set up on the legs, set up on the wheels. We're gonna hit our driver shot, and then we'll see how we do as far as pushing this down the course here.
Okay, so I hit a pretty poor drive down the left side. Make sure you want to cover up your club heads in here for sure because they will hit each other. All right, so this is the toughest part. When the people talk about it being a little unstable, what I would say is when you're gonna push it up, put your foot behind it, pull it back, then you're good to go. Pretty much a very simple process. So we walk with it. Maybe you can just walk beside me down here so you don't trip or anything. You don't have to go on the hill. Okay. <laughs> so what people talk about is if obviously if I were to tilt it too far forward, it's gonna to wanna to tilt forward. So I just lean it back a little bit. Overall, it's not that difficult to control. If you wanted to, you could just pull it behind you too. I feel like I feel more comfortable maybe pulling it because it's putting all the weight back towards me than pushing it. But overall, both are easy enough. As you can tell, it's easy to switch between both if you needed to. You have access to all your pockets. Nothing's blocked. Now, if they could incorporate another wheel up front later of similar design, it would definitely make it more stable. But I'm not complaining about this design at all. It does kind of put some weight onto your forearm if you're holding it at a certain angle though. So just little things. Like I said, I always try to present the pros and the cons for everything that we test here on the channel. All right, so here we got to where our ball is. I'm gonna go ahead and set it down now. We're good to go. Grab the club. I'll be using a seven iron from here to hit to our shot. Should be on the green. Pin high on the green. All right, all we gotta do now, put our club back where it belongs. Again, I put my foot up behind it, pick it up, and we're ready to roll. So, I will tell you, I understand people's concerns with it possibly being a little bit wobbly. I do like to kind of pull it behind me. I feel more than to push it, just because I feel like I'm not having to balance it as much. But it's a simple adjustment. And I think over time, I'll get used to it a lot more. But as you see, I'm gonna take this down this hill now and I'll push it just to show you. But I could also walk it on the side of me a little bit instead of right in front of me with two hands. One hand seems to work a little better for me. But I'm gonna go ahead and take this all the way up to the edge of the green, which is the appeal of a cart like this. We'll go down some terrain. And again, I'm just holding it with one hand. Pretty simple process overall. It's not gonna be a long video, guys. It's just, I wanted to test the durability of the wheels and test the, you know, how well it can hold up to terrain. And just from initial judgment, it's not super easy as if it had three wheels, but it's nothing to really turn your nose up at either. It's a really cool concept. I like it a lot. You don't have to use it. If you don't want to use it as a push cart bag, it's still a really, really cool bag either way. As you've seen, it has multiple uses. So here I am on the edge of the green, ready to take my putt. I'll just set it down, lean it forward, does its thing. I'm gonna grab my putter and we're good to go. All right, so we got a 15 foot putt or so from here. Let's see if we can make this potentially for a birdie. And the answer is no. We'll definitely take it for a par. And I think that's pretty much it, guys. I mean, honestly, I could show you four or five holes of this, but it's gonna be very, very similar. Let's go ahead and walk back to the cart real quick. It's a good looking cart. I think it definitely has what you need. If you don't want to use it as a push cart, you don't have to. 14 weight divider on the top, really nice. Multiple pockets. We got the spot for your cell phone, which I haven't even shown you because we're recording with mine, but easy spot right here. Put your cell phone in there. It's protected from the elements. Doesn't get much better than that in my opinion. Um, 
there's some competitors out there, but nothing, nothing in this price point that does what this bag does. So it's definitely unique. It's one of a kind, really, really cool bag that I think you should check out. Uh, definitely test it out for yourself, but I think it's definitely something we would recommend here at Garage Golf. All right, so just a really quick video again, just wanted to get it on the course, test it for you. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm gonna be keeping this, so happy to do more videos if you wanna see some more stuff in the future. But other than that, it's definitely something I recommend. Again, it's a little bit towards the higher end of a price point for some golf bags, not for all of them, $3.49 or so, I believe. Um, if I'm wrong with the price, I'll put it up here. But really, really cool bag. I think it's definitely something to check out. If you have any questions, reach out to me anytime, Roland at mygaragegolf.com. As always, really appreciate you guys hanging out with us. And until the next one, keep on golfing. See you next time. Thanks again.